Frequent flyers fly, la 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 la. Frequent flyers bat. What's up? You checking out the Frequent Flyer? Welcome back to the channel. Consider smashing the like button to show your support to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, consider smashing the like button also. And I got a question for y'all, man. What y'all know about this? This is the Silverlit Nano Falcon. This guy was in the Guinness Book of World Records for the world's smallest infrared model helicopter. And this thing was introduced to me by an awesome guy named Flying Ryan. But now technology has gotten a little better. One of Silverlit's competitors from back in the day, Saima, <laughs> has come out with this thing. This is the S100, and this is a 3.5 channel, 2.4 gigahertz helicopter. So no more infrared with this. Whereas the Silverlit Nano Falcon was only a three channel helicopter, and it had infrared control. So you couldn't take that guy outdoors, but this one, technically, you should be able to take it outdoors, but it is specified as an indoor flyer. As you can see there, indoor flight. This guy has a light. I'm guessing that's what the 3.5 channel thing is. But then again, the Silverlit Nano Falcon did have an option to toggle the light on and off as well. So I don't know. Maybe that was 3.5 channels. But anyhow... This guy has double protection. I'm guessing that if you crash into something, it'll uh, turn off automatically. And it also has an LVC. I guess it'll uh, just land or whatnot. But anyhow, we have a hover function and one key to take off and land. That basically says that this thing has altitude hold. So we're going to unbox this guy. Then we're going to check it out. It's going to take me about three days to check this guy out for the review but it's going to take you guys no time it's going to be instant right after this unboxing so let's take this thing out the box and see what's in here we have the helicopter right there it has a little shark on it tiny little guy so let's get everything out the box move this box out the way everything out here got a screwdriver of course and I think that's it we have the charging cable there we have a little sticker here so USB charging cable extra tail prop there try open okay we have a couple cards in here messages from Saima. Looks like the same thing but different languages. We have an extended warranty here. We're going to take that off camera. And we have the instructions manual. And I don't know what this is right here. Sheesh, you got a lot of paperwork in here. <laughs> Caution of the battery and all that stuff. We're going to just toss that stuff to the side. We have the instructions manual here. Let's toss that to the back. So we can remove that. So it takes four AAA batteries. Take this guy for a flight. A couple flights. <laughs> and then I'm going to come back and let you guys know if I like it or not. So let's go check it out. That's what we have here. Turn on the transmitter, and there's no speeds on this transmitter, so it's just one speed. These two are trims here, and this button right here is the auto takeoff and landing button. So let's hit that. Okay, so this thing is up in the air, doing its thing. Altitude hold is working good enough, I guess. Oh. Look like it's flying towards the curtain. Let's see what it does. Okay. So it ascends and descends fast enough. So not bad. It flies just like a traditional three-channel helicopter, coaxial, that is.
for it seems like it is toilet bowling a little bit <laughs> I think that's just the nature of uh, these things how they fly though the coaxial so this is top speed there uh oh <laughs> looks like I was going to run into something but this thing is quite stable check it out it looks like it's super easy to control for a beginner it sends fast enough but not too fast it sends fast enough so you can probably get around if you're a beginner you should be able to uh fare well with this thing you don't have to worry about throttle management so let's see how fast it moves backwards <laughs> it sounds cool <laughs> If we could bring it in a little closer. Check it out. When it flies backwards, it makes a loud sound, a louder sound, a louder buzz, that is. Okay, so let's check out the characteristics of it. Let's see how fast it yaws or spins. We got spinning to the left, spinning to the right, and I'm not controlling the throttle at all. It's just sitting there. So altitude hold works nicely. Let's see if we can land it. I'm gonna hit the auto land button. Let's get in the middle of the rug there. And let's hit the auto land. Okay, so it lands, no problem. Stands up when it lands. It, I saw something inside of it flashing. I guess it has like an accelerometer or something. I'm guessing. Okay, so let's raise it up again. I hit the auto kick off button. Yeah, so there must be an accelerometer in there because it seems like it flashes to reset the accelerometer. And that's just recalibrating the uh, the sensor, the, the air pressure sensor, in order to maintain its height. So I'm impressed with it. This should be super easy for a beginner to fly around and all. Not too fast, but not too slow that you're not going to have any fun with it. Man, you gotta, <laughs> when you try to fly forward and then backwards fast, you gotta uh, make sure that you're conscious of the fact that it's not gonna stop right away. Once you let off going backwards or forward, it still goes for a little while, maybe a half a second or two, a half, maybe a half second or maybe a full second. Yeah, it'll keep going forward. Let's demonstrate that. I'm moving forward, I stop. And you see that little delay and how fast it stops is a little different from a quadcopter. It flies nicely though. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, let's see. This thing's supposed to have a light toggle. Let's see, how do I do that? Let me try these buttons over here. I don't see any lights still. I think those are the yaw buttons. Yeah, those are trim buttons. So I don't see how you're supposed to get a light to turn on on here. Let's see, I'm going to try maybe holding down this button. That does the auto take off and landing. Let's try that. <laughs> and it drops like a rock when you hold that button down. So that's not it. I guess that's the emergency stop button. If you're flying away. 
I guess you probably can fly this guy outdoors since it's 2.4 gigahertz but I'm not gonna try because it's very windy and raining outside so let's see if okay I'm just gonna press up see it. okay so I can take off just by pressing up on the throttle stick but I don't see it says on the box that there's a light toggle it's a 3.5 channel and so I'm confused on how we're going to get the light to come on. Let's try one of these trim buttons. I'm going to hold one down. Nope, nothing. Hold the other one down, nothing. Neither of the joysticks press in, so I'm confused. No extra buttons found on this thing. <laughs> Maybe false advertising, I don't know. I think I'm going to read the manual and check it out for the next flight. But in the meanwhile, let's see if I can land this thing in my hand. Yep. The Sima S100. Okay, so I'm back with this little Sima S100. And there was no need for me to have another flight with it to record. Because I pretty much demonstrated everything that this thing can do all the features were shown in that video and it does not have a light or a light toggle I read the instructions manual and there was nowhere in there anything about a light to be toggled on or how to toggle a light on and there's no extra buttons on the transmitter and all of these buttons are what I thought they were these two are the trim buttons here this here is the auto takeoff and landing, and this is for throttle management here. Uh, well, not really throttle management because it does that automatically, but this is to make it ascend and descend, and this is to yaw it, and this is to fly forward and fly backwards, and that's it. There's no extra buttons for any lights or anything. There's not even a visible light on here anywhere, so no bub to be seen to have a light that turns on and all and so I don't know what that was on the box they definitely said that it had a light on the box but I don't know maybe false advertisement by Sima but anyhow this thing is really good for a beginner or for intermediate to uh, expert flyer maybe if you would just like to have this thing to fly it around with ease or whatnot and not worry about the throttle management I guess that's a go-to it's really easy you can pretty much leave this guy in the sky <laughs> with you can't leave it too long because it does drift back and forward or to the sides but you don't have to worry about it going down on you because of the altitude hold it pretty much holds itself in the air on its own and so uh, pretty cool. I think it would be very easy for a beginner to just pick this thing up, launch it by hitting that button, and just f learn to fly it around really quick. Uh, although I do think that learning throttle management is really important with flying drones, but a little coaxial helicopter like this, you're only going to fly it indoors, and I guess this will only be for just fun flying it around indoors. And so, uh, completely acceptable in my book for one of these to have altitude hold I'm not mad at that at all and it's pretty awesome it does what it's supposed to do everything works aside from it not having that light that they're claiming that it's supposed to have I think this thing is a go definitely it's awesome the Sima S100 mini helicopter it's more of a nano helicopter and it's for indoors 2.4 gigahertz so that's a plus always always better than infrared control thanks for watching